Hi, welcome back to section six, lesson six. In this lesson, let's look at QVWS and QSS. So let's start with QVWS. ClickView Web Server QVWS is included as part of the standard ClickView Server installation. The web server can act as a standalone service. As an alternate, we can also use Microsoft IIS as a web server which provides more flexibility, additional authentication schemes. When IIS is used, a special service called ClickView Setting Service is available, which handles the management calls, which we will cover a little later. The few important tasks which ClickView Web Server handles. So the ClickView Web Server manages the access point and it transforms and route traffic between HTTP and QVS and it also handles load balancing when cluster setup is used. So if you remember, IE plugin uses QVP protocol. However, Ajax and mobile clients use the HTTPS protocol or HTTP protocol. The Ajax clients and mobile clients do not communicate directly with QVS with QVP protocol. They established and maintain a connection using QVPX protocol through the web server. ClickView Web Server or Microsoft IIS can be used. This is normally done using port 80. The web server in turn communicates with QVS using QVPX2 protocol on port 4747. So it's a two leg process. In the first leg, QVPX protocol is used. And in the second leg, QVPX2 protocol is used. Next point, access point and QVWS. ClickView Web Server hosts web pages prepares the file list for access point, manages the load balancing for ClickView server. Access point is a web portal hosted on ClickView web server. The pages for access point are by default located in the folder program files, ClickView and web. So let me show you where these files are located on the server. So let me jump to the server. So if you go back to C drive, program files and ClickView, should see a folder called web. This is where you will see the index.html page for access point and also login and login2.html pages here. So I wouldn't recommend you to edit these files, but just in case if you have to do some troubleshooting, you need to know where the access point files are stored. You will also see a JS folder which contains a JavaScript. This includes jQuery and the native JavaScript file itself. I assume that you already know what is access point. For those who don't know, ClickView access point is a web portal that lists all the documents for each user who has access to the relevant applications. So access point only links to the document, but it does not host the actual document. Don't forget QVS manages the selection states and the application engine layer. So access point is just a pointer to these particular applications. So let's go back to the presentation. So now you must be thinking, what's the difference between ClickView Web Server versus IIS? In reality, there is no difference in functionality or performance. So choosing between ClickView Web Server or IIS is a personal choice. If you ask me, I would say IIS. And the reason for choosing IIS over ClickView Web Server is because I'm more familiar and comfortable with IIS. And IIS also supports detailed logging, and it also provides performance related data. And the best part is with the IIS, we can also set up page redirections with simplified URLs instead of long URLs. If you have an application with a long URL, you might just want it to call something really simple. You can set up redirection in IIS. And SSL configuration is pretty straightforward. So let's jump on, let's continue. So let's understand what is QSS. As we've briefly seen what is QVWS and then what is IIS. So the ClickView setting service is required when IIS is installed as a web server. And also ClickView setting service is installed to manage settings via QMS. So if you use IIS instead of ClickView web server, QSS works like ClickView web server and communicates back to IIS. So think about QSS as the bridge between IIS and also ClickView Server. QSS directly communicates with IIS. So I hope this makes sense about the services. So we've looked at QVS, QVS, 
DSC, QMS, QVWS, IIS, QSS. Just to summarize, QVS is a main service which takes care of memory management and also object rendering. QDS is the click view distribution service. QDS acts as a reload engine when Publisher is installed. It will reload the data from source documents to user documents. So it gives you that additional cushion. And when you have Publisher installed, QDS can also directly distribute the files in PDF and QVW format. And don't forget with QDS, you also have option for loop and reduce. And think about DSE as a service which manages security. And then QMS. QMS, we have seen that it's the key service which is used by ClickView Management Console. When you set up the task and schedule them, basically it's QMS, which is storing into QVPR repository, which holds all the task settings. And then we looked at QVWS and IIS. So it's basically the web server. As I mentioned earlier, I personally prefer IIS instead of QVWS. So hopefully this chapter gave you a high level idea about different concepts and the role of each service and how they communicate with each other. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.